A slow arts movement, to my mind, might have a few characteristics. One, you know, arts organizations might look at themselves as existing in large part to help people in their community, uh, citizens in their community, develop relationships with and appreciation for the artists in their community. Oddly, I think arts organizations often are sort of intermediaries or barriers between people and artists, and so it's almost the exact opposite impulse, right? Um, the, the second thing I really, going to this taste, you know, sort of in the, in the food side, cultivating taste, I think similarly, we need to acknowledge that we've had a couple generations of people who did not necessarily grow up um, with access to the arts, going to see opera, going to see classical music concerts, uh, going to see ballet, and that um, we need to meet people where they are, you know, build the bridge out to them, and then help them develop their tastes, their aesthetics help them develop an appreciation for this, and not in a pedantic way, but in a fun way. I mean, in, in ways that are, are creative, and, um, and I think that's in part by helping people foster their own creativity as, alongside their appreciation for, let's say, professionally performed art. Um, so encouraging and fostering that uh, in the same way that the slow food movement encourages people to grow their own food as much as it encourages them to go out and, and, um, and buy good food that others have made. And, uh, and I think the last, the last part really has to do with, I mean, in the same way that the slow food movement really believes that people should be taking time to sit down with friends and family and eat and have that social experience, well, we know that one thing that really distinguishes the live arts from, let's say, you know, reading a book at home or going to see a film, perhaps, is that they are, in fact, live and social. Um, and I think the arts have, for a while now, taken for granted that the social aspect of the arts will take care of itself, but I think we need to, a slow arts movement uh, might mean that we take responsibility for bringing people together in an active way and doing things that will in fact foster um, relationships among people and foster the kind of social aspect of going out um, as much as just the sitting down and watching the art uh, so, that the so that people have the chance to, to engage in dialogue and um, and just laugh and, and have a good time, you know, while they're out, you know, that it's not just about show up, sit down, get up, leave, which is actually a lot of what the experience is um, when, when you go to, you know, let's say a, an opera performance or something like that.